A service has been taking place in Colchester this afternoon for members of 16 Air Assault Brigade about to deploy to Afghanistan. They'll take over the role of Task Force Helmand from 4 Mechanised Brigade next month. Some personnel have already been dispatched ahead of Operation Herrick 13. Our reporter, Claire Sadler, is in Colchester. Around 400 military personnel packed into St Peter's Church here in Colchester. It's the last chance really for them all to get together ahead of deployment. But I'm joined now by the commander of 16 Air Assault Brigade, Brigadier James Chiswell. Brigadier, how important are services like this one? Uh, Claire, as you know, we always do this uh, before we deploy anywhere. Extremely important, as you can imagine. It's a chance for the community to come together, the community that's deploying and to reflect upon the challenges that, uh, that lie ahead. And it is extremely important to us, yeah. And it's not the first time, of course, that 16 Air Assault Brigade are going to Helmand province. The last time was 2008. For those who have been before, how will they find the situ on, situation on the ground different? Yeah, I think they will see uh, a, a real sense of progress, certainly down at the tactical level in, in, in Helmand. I think specifically, I think in terms of the way that local governance uh, has moved forward, um, in significant steps uh, across much of the uh, much of the area in terms of the inclusiveness really of uh, of governance and the ability of the people to have a voice that is a real sign of progress there uh, and i think also in terms of the way that the uh, the afghan national security forces the army and the police uh, are coming on a lot of training ha has gone in ahead of deployment has that reflected the changes that have taken place since the brigade was last there yeah, as a brigade, we're able, I suppose, in some ways to draw off a little bit of experience in terms of how we do our, our training. And obviously, over time, the, the British Army has really uh, has really come together in terms of how that training has, uh, has, has developed. So, no, I think we feel uh, we feel extremely well prepared for what uh, for what lies ahead. And uh, the bulk of the brigade are going to be deploying soon. What's the mood like? Well, I think you can see here is uh, a real sense, as you'd expect, uh, after all that training and a lot of thought that's gone into the challenges that lie ahead, a real professional resolve, I think a degree of confidence that comes from being well prepared, but also uh, an honest reflection in terms of, of the challenges that lie ahead and obviously um, some reflection on, the, on our families that we leave behind.